Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay everyone, so before I'm going to start the tutorial, I'm going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use. So I still be using limited colors my palette as always be. So I have here the titanium white, the tahalo blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the umber. So I'm using limited colors because I want you to learn to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay, if you're using browns or burnt umber, you can also use burnt shena and raw umber. So I recommend raw umber and burnt umber and if you're using the burnt china you can mix it with with um, blue and red to make it dark or look like black. Okay. And these are my brushes. So I'll be using number 12 nylon flat brush, long handled, number 11 nylon flat brush, uh, bristle flat brush, I'm sorry, long handled, number 8 nylon flat brush, long handled, number 7 nylon flat brush, short handle number 3 nylon flat brush, short handle and I also have here the liner brush 0 liner brush for the details you can also use 1, 2, 0, 3, 0 so these are just the possible brushes I'm going to use in this tutorial and not all of them I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of it and you can also use other types of brush it all depends on you or or what are your available brushes okay this is my canvas it's um, 10 by 8 inches it has three cuts of prime white acrylic and also use so I made it myself and we need water to thin the paint we need water spray if ever we're gonna need to wet our canvas and it will be easier for us to blend the colors okay so this, that's it so I'm going to start now I'm going to start painting and Today I'm going to paint uh, just a basic flower base or uh, flowers on a flower base. So and I didn't paint this a long time ago. <laughs> it's, it's been a long time I haven't painted this kind of subject. So I think today I'm going to paint something like that. Okay, I'm going to paint some flowers. Okay, so that's it. So I think I'm going to start now. Okay, so... This will be just an easy tutorial. So let's start first with by adding some background tones or background colors. I think I'm going to paint background colors first. So here I'm going to paint first the greens or I think I'm going to start by doing some guide sketch before I'm going to paint. So wait, I'm going to put my brush first here and I'll be using the smaller brush, this is done by 8 flat brush and I'll be using the raw umber So this will be... So I'm going to put the base here We can draw a circle first And I'm going to put a base on the bottom. So I'm going to paint, I'm going to color the flower base white. And this part will be covered with some, um, with some um, flowers. Um, what else? Um, some flowers, um, leaves, or whatever. There, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put, I'm going to cover that entire area with plants. Okay, so I'm gonna mix first the yellow with 
we do to make some greens and I'm going to make this part green cover that part with greens so in short I'm going to do first the backgrounds so blue yellow and blue umber to make some darker greens you can also use red and I'm going to make the background darker using the raw umber with also some red color let's paint some red here I'm going, I think I'm going to, I'm going to try to make it um, a little impressionistic some blue color so all you have to just play it there I just want to play it some blue color there I'm gonna put a little yellow to make it um, green there you can spray it with water so that it will be um, easy to blend there then can I use some It's not the first time that I paint some flower bar, uh, flower base. So, but I have a uh, have a few, very few um, paintings with this on my YouTube channel. So, I'm going to paint now this kind of subject, some yellows and blues, reds. Numbers. I'll see those red. And I'm gonna use some umber with white. This part should be lighter. I'm going to use some raw umber with white so we're going to create some shades first on our flower base And get some white here. So you have now the background colors. Okay, so what's next? So I think we need to start now adding some few traces of flowers. Okay, but I'm going to use a smaller brush. So let's paint first some bigger flowers. I think on roses. So I think I'm going to use some red and white so we're gonna do the backgrounds color first so here I think I'm gonna put one rose here
there. So okay, and let's do another one here. So remember, it's still wet, so we need to um, just careful with uh, adding the paints. So I'm gonna put some red here. There. Okay, what's next? I think we're gonna put some yellow, some daisies. So I'm gonna mix for orange, yellow, and red. So here. Yes. So, just to make it, um, just we just have to make it a little impressionistic in style. Okay. Actually, we do not need to make it look so perfect because that's very time-consuming. <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna put some leaves now, and I'll be mixing some yellow and blue color to make some leaves and add some blue so here I'm gonna put some dark tones, so I'm gonna use the blue and yellow. So I need to let the other parts dry to make it to make it easier to blend. So I'm going to focus on the base first, so the flower base. And I'm going to use some raw umber and white. I'm going to lighten this part here. I'm going to use a pure white. And I'm going to make the um, uh, light coming from the left side so all the highlights should be in the, the left side there so do not uh, do not forget for the shadows should also put some shadows coming from the left or lips and need to blend this part here there and also on the base of the flower base
I think I'm gonna focus first on this flower base before I'm gonna start on the other. And then I'm going to make some, I'm going to add some blue on the grayish color and white. And I'm gonna make this part a little bluish. That's too bright. I'm gonna add more blue in blue umber. So that means there's another light coming from the from the right side. If you're asking me if I have a reference, I'm not. I do not have. I I just have a guide. Okay. Okay. There, and I'm going to. Use more raw umber and darken some shades here. Just gonna darken these shades, the shadows. So, light coming from the top side of the left, so it will strike all here. That's how we're gonna plan the, the lightings. Okay, and I'm going to touch here. So it's the umber and the little blue color. some red I'm gonna add some bluish stone on the back of the base blue with some a little amount of white I'm not sure if my flower base is perfectly proportional, so I think I'm gonna retouch that. It should be in good and perfect proportion. Not perfect, but just good. So here I'm gonna use more raw umber to add more shades.
Ayan, ang kwento yun sa mga white. And adding a little lighter gray color. And I'm going to make this part lighter. I think I'm going to make that more yellowish. So I'm going to add more yellow and red. So just a little orange with white. More red and yellow. So this is kind of, this is some kind of a reflection coming from the bottom. There. That's it, and I'm going to darken some parts. I draw a row umber. More yellow. Just how to plane it easily and slowly. There. That's more realistic for me. Okay. So I think I'm going to add some bluish spot. So I'm going to use some blue here. I'm going to add some spots on the on the base yeah this will just be the design of the base there just have to add some bluish spot here And then I'm going to add some white. go yes and I'm going to put some shines on my flower base so I'm gonna use some white pure, pure white Very shiny base, and also here. Okay, I'm not sure if it looks right or need more retouch. Okay. Okay, anyway, we just have to retouch that later, but I think I need to go. I need to erase this one here. For me, that does not look good. There.
Okay, so I think I just have to retouch that later. I'm not yet really contented with that. <laughs> but I just have to retouch. I'm going to mix. I'm going to use this brown here with some yellow and white. Because I'm going to. Um, add some lights on this um, on the bottom or on the on the on the floor here. I have to lighten that part. There. Okay. Now what's next? So let's add more highlights on the. I think I'm gonna put some leaves first before I'm gonna put the flowers. So here I'm gonna use some white and mix it with the lighter green colors. And let's add some highlights on this leaves here. There. That's it. I also need to use some darker tones. There. We just have to retouch that later. And also here. Don't worry everyone, we just have to retouch that. Always remember that. It's not a final yet. I'm just um um trying to evaluate where we're gonna put the the leaves. I think I'm gonna put some another leaf here. There. And also another leaf here. It and I'm going to try to retouch the, the leaves, adding more highlights on it. I'm gonna use more yellow and blue and white. So, here I'm going to lighten this leaf here. I'm going to add also some shades or shadows. Let's 
touch it. And I'm gonna add some white or lighter colors for the leaves, for the reflections. Sorry guys, my dog is really noisy. I'm gonna add some white. sure if that look right so I think I'm gonna retouch there okay and I will also use some blue and yellow and Red to make some dark greens to here. We need some dark greens here. in this part and also here and more dark or darker so I'm gonna use blue and red So anyway, that's really time consuming. <laughs> so I think this is right now and I'm going to add some I'm going to add some details on that uh, flower. So I'm gonna use some red. So we need to clean first your brush before we're gonna do that in white. So it will be very light pink. And I'm going to add some details on this. There. So I have to make it. We need to add some more petals. more red let's add some colors on the petals there
there. Okay, I'm not sure to if I'm doing right. <laughs> I think I'm gonna retouch. So I'm gonna use some white. Let's do this right. So I think I'm gonna erase some parts and retouch. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna use some red. So that's looks like a rust now. <laughs> Pretty sure. And I'm gonna put more here, more petal, one more petal here. And I'm gonna add more white. I'm not really sure if that looks like a rose so maybe we, I can retouch that later on sorry about that guys sometimes I suck at this okay now let's proceed to some more flowers I'm gonna use some orange here just blue and red and yellow yes blue I don't know red, yellow and red so here we're gonna paint some daisy This looks like a daisy. So I want one more here. Okay. And I want to have a darker color so that I can put another daisy. So I'm going to paint some purple flower and I'm going to use some blue and red to make to make some purple and white to make it lighter. We need some red and blue, more red and white. We need a, a little water. I'm gonna put one here. 
that's too light I'm gonna make it darker blue and red Another one here. I can also put some small or four flowers there what else so here yeah maybe that would be good enough so I think I'm going to put also another one here And another one here, I think. With some small flowers there. And let's add some um, highlights. So I'm gonna use more white and red. And let's put it here. Let's with that uh, let's add some details on these petals here. And also here. Another flower here. So if you are painting me, just follow what I'm doing. I know this will be this will be a little hard to explain <laughs> these things here. So just watch my strokes and learn from it. Hey, now I'm going to add more red. There. And let's retouch. I'm going to smooth in this part here. And I'm going to make it purple, so I'm going to use this purple color here. There. Ok. 
Okay. I'm not really comfortable looking at my on my what you call this on my um what I call this on this um rose plant a uh, rose flower so I think I really need to retouch that but I'm gonna do it later on. I'm gonna put some highlights first on the on the daisy so I'm gonna use white and yellow so here Okay. And I'm going to use white on the center of the daisies. There. Okay. And also on this house, uh, small purple flowers. So I'm not really comfortable looking at my rose so I think I'm going to retouch that so it's okay guys to commit mistakes uh, you just have to learn to to correct that mistake okay so here I'm gonna use some pink white and red and let's see if I can still retouch this one here I'm gonna put some petal there. We need to analyze first. So here. That's the problem when I was working with this um, a while ago. I, I didn't analyze what or where we're gonna put the petals that's why I mess it up I'm gonna use some red to darken some parts That's beta, beta. Okay. I'm gonna add more white. Okay, so wait to
there. So we need to follow the rules on how to paint the um, the the rules. So the actual rules, guys, and it's not really that easy to f to form that. Okay. There are certain rules on how to paint this. Um, um, beetles on the rose, the rose flower. So we need to follow that also. So that it will actually look uh, realistic. So here. For me, that looks um, a, little, a little bit um, okay compared to the one that I did a while ago. <laughs> so that'll be fine for me. Okay, so I'm gonna use more red because I'm gonna retouch the other one here. So I think I'm gonna put some more. Petals. There. This one is on the dark side, so it will be darker in color. There. That's it. So I think that looks better now. And I'm going to add another one color, another one more. Um, I'm going to add more flowers. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put some white flowers there. So I'm going to use this. Mix it. I'm going to use the white. Mix it with the with the purple so that it will become off white. And let's paint some flower. Another flower here. I think that won't be some kind of a DC. And then on this one here. good for me and I'm gonna make it a little darker and I'm gonna put another one here I'm gonna add more blue and red to make it dark 
Okay. And also here. So we're gonna also add this on the other sides. Some white colors on the other sides. Okay. Then this, this, let's use the pure white here, and let's add some highlights on these small daisies. Okay, and then I'm gonna use some yellow to put on the center of the daisy. There. I'm gonna use darker color for this part here. Okay. Mm, that looks nice. And now I'm going to add some dark tones, so I will be adding some dark tones now. So here, blue umber and blue color. Let's add some dark tones here. Do it a li little bit later. This will actually add some depths on our on our painting. It's not actually black, but the combination of raw amber and black, uh, no, and 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 blue. And I'm going to add some yellow to make to make some greens and let's add some stock there. Let's add some leaves. There. That's it, that looks um realistic for me now I'm going to add more leaves for this one so I'm going to, uh, before that I'm going to use this grayish color here and add some shades on this part So that it will look more shaded or realistic. Okay. 
So far, so good. So, I think I'm going to start retouching now. So I'm gonna mix for green to add more um, leaves and white and blue color. So I think I'm gonna add some leaves there. So we need to be careful a little. to make it darker and some white to make it lighter okay so here Okay, so I think I'm going to retouch more on the, I'm going to retouch the, the rose. So here I'm going to add more white, and uh, no, red and white. So I should have put some huge beetle in the back here. There, and some red. So what else? I'm actually, I think I am actually almost done with this. So I think I'm going to add a little light on this part here, on this one here. So it's a few light. There. Okay. So we we to retouch more on the on this um 
Rose. Okay, that's it. Now let's put some falling petals in the back and the and also we need to put some leaves there. So we're mixing some green. And let's put some leaves. Not sure if, it, if that looks right. And I'm going to use some shadings. That's on the petals here. Then I'm going to add some white on the green color. There. And also on the petals. And using some darker greens, I'm going to put some falling leaves on the back. Or I just adding some greenish stone there. There. I think that's really a very realistic painting. It's not very realistic, but it's it looks really natural for me. It looks real. So, I think I'm going to add more highlights on the, using white on the, on the flower base. So here, I'm going to use more white. A really thick amount of white here. And I'm going to add more shades using this raw umber with some white. So here I think I'm gonna add say, some shades here. I'm gonna add a little bluish color.
there okay so I think I am content with the result so for me it looks nice looks good looks realistic wait I <laughs> still have to retouch more there's something lacking here so I'm gonna use more blue and umber and white so I think I'm going to retouch that part It look right for me. Okay. So okay, everyone. I think I am done with my simple painting, um, still life um, with flower base and flowers, uh, different types of flowers. So for me, that looks nice, and I am really content with the result. Uh, for actually there are some mistakes like the like the form of the the rose flowers for me it doesn't look perfect and I still need to retouch that one but for now that will be fine you can you can you can actually you can actually retouch that make it look right and make it more realistic so I say thank you so much for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this you learn um, I wanna say thank you so much for watching and please like and some comments, subscribe for videos in the future. My advice to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you use your brush, the more you know how to mix the colors. So I'm losing with colors my palette. Okay everyone, thank you very much. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.